As you know, real racing and sim racing are full of rules. If you want to be a serious driver, you must respect our racing etiquette. So, because of that, you must be respectful towards your opponents. But being too respectful or too shy could, could penalize a lot your performances. But at the same time, being too aggressive could penalize your race as well, because you could get penalties. So, to make it clear one time for all, in this video I show you some classic examples of episodes which happen often while racing. And I tell you what's its legit and what is not. Ready? First of all, keep in mind this sentence. Contact is part of racing. That means in fear rules of motorsport contact isn't forbidden. But obviously it's highly discouraged. Why? Because it's too dangerous and could, could cause big accident, especially if contacts happen at high speeds. So, to make it simple, some contacts are loaded, but better if you avoid all of them. But at this moment you will ask me, ok, some contacts are loaded, but uh, which ones? Let's start from those who aren't allowed. Obviously those where you push or smash your opponent on purpose. <laughs> Those where you use your opponent as barrier to make your corner better and faster. So which ones are low then? Light and unintentional contacts with the condition the driver who get pushed doesn't go out of the track. Basically you push the other driver in front of you thanks to the slipstream to help you and him to reach another group of cars far away on the front. Pretty risky to do and uh, it isn't allowed in all racing competitions, but uh, it's pretty common on others such as NASCAR. Aggressiveness isn't a bad thing and it's recommended to be competitive in racing. Yeah, recommended up to a certain point indeed. <laughs> One classic example of aggressiveness is squeezing your opponent at your side, regardless if you're attacking or defending. Why do people tend to squeeze their opponent? Two reasons. As you know, battles aren't just driving skills. It's also mental, psychological. If you squeeze your opponent, you want to show your superiority to him. You want to stress and scare him. In that way, you have more probability to win the battle. The second reason is purely physical. You want to take the best racing line before the corner if you are on the inside. Or you want your opponent to take the worst racing line if you are on the outside. In that way, your opponent will be obliged to take the corner at lower speed. Now, you know the reason why people squeeze while overtaking. 
but is it allowed? Absolutely yes, but only at some conditions. You can't oblige your opponent to go out of the track while squeezing it. When you see he is almost at the border of the track, you have to stop squeezing and keep your line. If your opponent starts squeezing as well, stop squeezing and try to keep your line. In case of accident of both, he'll be the one to be blamed for that. Otherwise, let him pass. But in that way, you'll show him he's the superior one, and this will put you in a psychologically disadvantageous situation. As I told you in my previous videos, no matter if you're a beginner or a pro, sooner or later there will be someone who will be faster than you. And uh, the best thing you can do is to defend your position. Yeah, but how much? The classic rule says you can move just twice on straight, one time on the inside. And one last time to return to the original position if you want. If you move uh, more than two times, well, then uh, it's illegal. There is only one moment when blocking on the inside isn't allowed, while breaking. If you block the inside while breaking, this won't be dangerous only for you, but for your opponent as well, because steering while breaking is harder and for that reason there will be more chance of accident and you'll be blamed for that. So, defend only while accelerating. And obviously, if your opponent manages to get to your side, you have to apply the rules I explained you in the previous chapter about squeezing. the moment when you see if someone is more reckless or more shy. You must apply just the right dose of aggressiveness. One classic reckless move is the dive bomb. What's the dive bomb? Dive bomb is when you try to overtake an opponent at any cost, entering the corner, forcing him to avoid you in the middle of the corner, because if he doesn't avoid you, your dive bomb will result in an accident. Is it forbidden? No. Is it recommended? Absolutely not. 
because it's highly dangerous for both drivers. So, to make it clear one time for all, dive bombs are a loop, but uh, I ugly discourage them. Racing rules can't be right all the time, they must be interpreted according to the context indeed. In some cases you can overtake someone going outside of the track with all four wheels, in other situations you can't go out of the track limits to overtake your opponent. It's legit to overtake outside of the track when your opponent pushes you out of the track. You have to avoid an accident. You both go out of the track. You can't overtake outside of the track when you simply go out of the track limits because he blocks you. You cut on the outside of the corner because you enter it too fast. I hope you understood better what you are allowed to do and what is forbidden. If you have further questions about other situations which you don't know how to behave, just write them in the comments and maybe I'll make another video explaining further situations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.